your full name, age, date of birth, and the youngest grandson wants to know how tall you are. My name is Mary Frances Aiken Osborne. I'm six, uh, 72 years old. Date of birth is 1st and 24th, 1944. And my youngest grandson wants to know how tall I am. Well, I'm not as tall as you. <laughs> I'm 4'8 and 3 fourths. Where were you originally born? In East Texas, out at a place called Big Woods, out of Tyler, Texas. Where are your ancestors originally from? I don't know about my dad, but my mother is from uh, Ireland, Dutch and Ireland. Do you know anything about your family's surname? I do not. How did you meet your spouse? We were set up on a blind date. We work at TI, and we were a friend of ours set us up on a blind date. What was your wedding like? It was just uh, me and Papa and my uh, brother and parents there in a small church here in, in Plano, Texas called Meadows Baptist Church. Who was your best, or who was your maid of honor in your wedding? We didn't have one. Just us. Just you. What are the names of your children, and why did you name them that? My oldest one is Randy Dean Osborne, and he was named after his, his dad, because Papa's middle name is Dean, and our other one was Gary William Osborne, and his middle name was William, and it was after my, my father, because his, his, his name was William. What was the most unusual thing your children did on a rape on a regular basis when they were small? Well, they usually always got into squabbles, <laughs> playing and everything. But they were brothers, and that's what the brothers do. What was the most difficult thing about being a parent? It's disciplined your children, I guess, because you really hated to, to hurt them or anything. But you knew you had to make a mind. What are the names of your grandchildren? <laughs> well, our oldest grandchild is a girl, which her name is Hannah Elizabeth Osborne. Our second grandchild is Gavin William Osborne. And our youngest grandchild is Garrett Taft Osborne, which we're very proud of, all three of them. Do you have any advice for your grandchildren about being a parent? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Well, if you ever become parents, it's hard because raising a child. But you do, you teach them right from wrong and be sure and get them in a church and let them grow up being a Christian and know that they're, they're right from wrong and just pray for them every day that everything will be okay. What are the names of your parents and a quick description about them? name of my parents. My mother's name was Minnie Lee. Oh gosh, last night just blew my mind. Minnie Lee Aiken. I can't remember her her maiden name now. I got it wrong at home. Huh? My and my father's name, William S. Aiken. They lived in East Texas at right? Tyler there. Who were your aunts and uncles? Oh gosh, that's a bunch of them. <laughs> Name a couple. <laughs> a couple. Of, okay, one of them was Aunt Mildred and Uncle Dawson. Uh, another one was Aunt Mary and Uncle Pete. Uh, Aunt Bobby. Uncle Hoyle and Aunt Belle. And Uncle Osie and Aunt Imogene. That's on my dad's side. My mother was a uh, she didn't have any. She had a brother and a sister that passed away when they were little bitty things. So she didn't have any uh, living sisters. What are the names of your grandparents? <laughs> now, I don't... <laughs> uh, I got all that down at home and I don't... Uh, on my dad's side was O.C. Uh, Aiken. Uh, 
Don't ask me that. All right, we'll skip okay. that question. I can I can get the information to you if that would help you. We'll add that in later. Okay, I got it all wrote down at home. What are the names of your siblings? I had an older brother named Dr. Aiken. I have an older sister named Mar Margaret Marie Wallace. I have another sister, Annie Mae Bragan, and I have a younger brother, James William Aiken. My oldest brother and my youngest brother have passed away. Where have you lived throughout your life? Okay, I lived most. I lived down in East Texas, around Tyler, until about the fourth, fifth grade. Then we moved to Grapevine and lived around Grapevine and Addison and Richardson. And finally, in my so sophomore year, freshman year, we moved to Plano. And I graduated from Plano High School. Do people call you anything besides your first name? Call me anything besides my first name? By your birth name. No. Huh. People call you Francis? Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes, my side of the family did call, always call me Francis. Why did they call you that? I don't know. They just they just did because my my brother and, and, and called me that too, and they they just I went by Mary myself. I put Mary when I went to, when I started the school. I went by Mary, and but the family and all called me Francis. My oldest brother Ray, he called me Maggie when I was a little girl. Now why he did that I don't know, but that's what he called me when I was little. When I was little. Where are your parents buried? My mother and father is buried up here at McKinney at Ridgeview Memorial Park. Who influenced your life the most? Who influenced my life the most? I guess my mother and them to teach me right from wrong and to, and to be good and to finish school. Where did you graduate high school? Plano Senior High, Plano, Texas. What is your earliest memory of life? When I was about three years old in Tyler, Texas, I had surgery at Mother Frances Hospital in Tyler. And I can, I can remember just a little bit of it. What is your best memory? My best memory? I guess the day that I got married. What was fashionable clothing when you were young? We talked about this yesterday. <laughs> well, we need it for the camera. Uh, well, we wore uh, penny loafers and bobby socks. Uh, had like to call poodle skirts. Uh, pedal pushers. Uh, we could wear jeans. And you didn't wear jeans or anything. And uh, uh, ponytails. And uh, the boys all wore used to wear jeans and loafers and white socks and t-shirts and had their hair in duck tails and their collars was up turned up. Did you ever have a ponytail? I didn't. You didn't? Mm -mm. Hair really, I didn't have that long of hair. Where did you go to elementary school? I went to uh, White House. I started in White House, school at White House. And then uh, we moved up to uh, Grapevine. I went to uh, Carroll Elementary School up there. Uh, where did you go to high school and what was your mascot? Plano Senior High, Plano, Texas, and the Wildcat. What activities did you do in high school? Uh, mostly I just had home had home economics, what mostly I did. We didn't I didn't play any sports or anything. What was your best subject in school? I liked history. history. What was your worst subject? In Algebra. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember what your first job was? Yes, I worked at a place here in Plano called Eastman, United States Brasses. Uh, United States Brass. We made uh, uh, washers and stuff. What was Started your... out at 65 cents an hour. 65 right cents. after I got out of high school. What did you do there? Uh, putting washers and, and stuff, boats and stuff together. 
I worked there for about a month. <laughs> then I got to work go to work at TI. What was your best job? My best job. I guess my best job would be a mother raising my kids. What was your worst job? The worst job. Oh gosh, what was my worst job? Uh, I didn't really have. I only had uh, three jobs. Uh, I don't really know that I had a worst job because I like the ones that I'm, the ones that I worked at. I like them. Well, that's good. What is your greatest achievement in life so far? In raising my family, having my both boys become Christian, and have my grandchildren become Christians, and having a good family. What do you wish to accomplish before you die? Uh, what do I wish to accomplish? I would like to see my grandchildren, all of them, graduate from high school and if possible, college. If you could change one thing in modern society, what would it be? One thing in modern society. That people would learn to love each other and get along with each other. What do you miss about the good old days? What do I miss about the good old days? I don't think that I really miss anything about the good old days because they were good, but now it's even better with all the modern conveniences and technology and everything. It's it's so much better as far as living goes because the houses was cold when we were living. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have all the conveniences that you have now. You had to have an old wooden stove to back up to to get warm. What was it like living through the wars and civil rights movements? You know, it was a hard time because uh, everybody was against each other. It was, and I, I was in high school when that, when that started. But you know, it, it's come out they have a better time now, the, the blacks, they're a lot better and everything. They have as much freedom and everything as the whites do, if they would just realize it. And Did you go to a segregated school? No. Mm -mm. We, uh, we, we had our own. That didn't happen until like in the 70, early 70s. What were your... Because your dad didn't go. To... What were your thoughts after Kennedy got assassinated? It was terrible because he was such a good president that we all hated that. And I still think that uh, there was more to it than Lee Harvey also. I just don't think he was the only one that was in on it. What was your favorite nursery rhyme as a kid? Uh, Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> when did you first fly on an airplane? Two thousand and uh, you were going two thousand and three. That was my first plane. No, no, no. Take it way back. Go way back. Scratch that. Scratch it. <laughs> my first plane ride was when we went to Maine in nineteen and seventy seven. Went to Maine to visit my sister and families up there. What did you think about it? It was scary because we flew just after a big plane crash in Chicago. And it was very scary. And when we landed in Boston, you land there and the ocean's right there at you. <laughs> but it was it was it was okay, but it was kinda scary. When did you first have running water in your house? <sighs> when I guess I was in the uh for my mood. I guess I was in about the third or fourth grade, I guess it was. When did you first have electricity in your house? Probably about the same time. When did you get a TV in your house? When I was in the fifth grade when we lived in Grapevine, we got a TV, black and white TV. Did you have a favorite show? Oh, gosh. We left the Bandstand. 
Who were your best friends in school? I had a girlfriend named Peggy that lived down the street from me. Who are your best friends now? Well, we have several good friends from church. What were their names? Oh, we have Peg, uh, Bess and Judy, Alvin and Benita, Ruth and Don. Um, oh, we have a whole bunch of them that you can call on and rely on if you need help. Did you and your friends have a special hangout in school? What was the name of it, and what did you do there? I didn't. Mm -mm. Sometimes we'd go over to the uh, uh, drugstore in Plano where they had a fountain and get something to drink after school, but we didn't just hang out there. We stopped and got something to drink and then went on home. What would you drink? Coke. Cherry Coke. Cherry <laughs> Coke. Cherry Coke. What's your favorite trip you've taken? What? The favorite trip you've taken. Oh, that would have to be our trip to Alaska. Your trip to Alaska? That was my favorite. What did you do? We sailed on a cruise. Went to some different, some different islands up there and on the cruise. That's what I always want to do, go to the Alaska cruise. If you could go anywhere, where would you go? Where would I go for anywhere I could go? I think I would love to go back to Alaska and do some more of the islands, go around to some of the other islands and see and do the railroad trip up there and everything. We have one special question for you. Why is it that you never learned how to swim? Because when I was in about the fifth grade at Grapevine, where we lived out in the country, there was the, the place that we lived on had a pond, and Marie's boyfriend was over one day, and we was all went down to the lake and, and just playing around the water, and I was out there on this little stretch of land, and uh, he threw my inner tube out further than I could get it, and I reached for it. When I did, I took a step, and I went down in eight feet of water. Mm. And I nearly drowned him. So I never learned how to swim, and my mother didn't make me learn how to swim. Which she should have, but she didn't. And that's why I can't swim. Uh, where did you go to church as a child? Uh, here in Plano, at the... Um, uh, Second Baptist Church in Plano here. When did you become a Christian? When I was in the sixth grade. In what ways have you served the church? What well, ways have I served? Uh, I taught Sunday school some, worked in the nursery some, um, did help with vacation Bible school. I also uh, did a card ministry. Well, I do that now, card ministry. I did also uh, headed up a food, doing the food for uh, sick people that, of the church and everything. Is there anything else that you'd like to let your grandchildren, great-grandchildren, future great-great, who knows how many grandchildren, is there anything you'd like to let them know about anything? Uh, just be true to yourself and your family and do right, do the good, don't... Uh, do wrong, just stay in the good, and uh, obey your parents, because they do know what's best for you when you're young. You may not think you, that they do, but they do. And when you get to be parents, you'll be that way too. Do you have a funny story to tell us about Papa? Funny story about Papa. Mm. Uh, not necessarily funny, but... Uh, any interesting stories? He, uh, he came down to Uncle Ray's one time to cut wood. And while he was down here, he got his hand caught into the chainsaw and cut it up pretty bad. And he would not stop. He wanted to go ahead and get the wood cut it and everything. And of course, it was all greasy and dirty and everything, wrapped around. I wasn't with him. This is, I was told this by Dolores and them. And he wrapped a rag around it and everything. They got the wood all loaded back up. And he drove home with his hand held outside the window. He got home. I got my hand kind of hurt. And, of course, it was all chopped up and everything. And so I called the doctor, and we had to take it to the doctor and cleaned it up. And 
Did he get stitches? Yeah, I think he did get stitches. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. So that was a kind of a dumb thing on his part. <laughs> <laughs> but it, everything turned out all right. So. I, I think that's it for all the questions. Thank you. Thank you.